You will not believe where we are at. I have been waiting to go to this museum for years. The minute I tell you one of his paintings, Melting Clocks, you're gonna know exactly where we're at. That's right, St. Petersburg, Florida. We are at the Dali Museum where we are going to get to see some amazing artworks and a museum that is like none other. I cannot wait. Let's get inside and get started. All right, so Peter, I feel like this is one of those paintings that I, you know, you know, but you don't know much about. So tell me about this. Really, it's got an optical illusion in there somewhere. I feel. Yeah, yeah. So this was one of the very last of Dolly's ambitious double images. You know, this was done after he finished his museum. He's still got like another great painting in him, and yeah. he's wanting to do it. He's reading Scientific American, and there's an article about how much visual information does the brain need to recognize a face. And they started distorting familiar images like the Venus de Milo and uh, Abraham Lincoln. And they created some very abstract images, but the brain still fills in the gaps. And Dolly got excited by this. There's an image down here in black and white that's actually from the article. He's glued it in. That's his inspiration. And he said, I can go one step further. Not only can I create an image that eventually becomes Abraham Lincoln, I can create a completely new painting that becomes Abraham Lincoln. Right. And so that's what he did here. There's, uh, I think, 262 um, pixels, essentially, which right. Dolly has Big turned pixels. into Spanish okay. mosaic tiles. His wife's standing here at the window looking out over the Mediterranean. And yet, the longer you look at it, you start to realize when you squint your eyes, you start to see Abraham Lincoln's face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her head is one of his eyes. The other eye is over here to the side. His beard is more or less captured by these black uh, pavers down around the corner here. And there's also a sense that, you know, Dolly at this point is 72 years old, his wife is 82 years old. There's a sense of the passage of time. Yeah. This is the last really big statement he can make. And the thing that's different from this, from the hallucinogenic Toreador, that one it flips back and forth. This one it only changes based on distance. Yeah, yeah. So you have to have a, a you know, be 40 meters or 20 meters away in order to see it. But when Dolly painted it, the people coming to visit him couldn't get that kind of distance. Okay. He would have them look through the long, wrong end of a binocular, a pair of binoculars. I mean, that was a good creative solution there. <laughs> yeah. You know, it immediately eliminates all the uh, distortion and you see the face so yeah. clearly. Just blew people's minds. Still does. Oh, yeah. You back up and then you just see it and you're like, what? Oh, now, yeah. I love the way he hit it in tiles. Like, it just says, yeah. So well done. Yeah. So it's personal and at the same time, it's about America and, uh, and it's about. His, his skill as a painter. Oh yeah, and, he, and of course he had to put up a guy, is that Christ figure up there? Yeah. Yeah, so it's the idea of God's moving into the next realm, which is where eventually Dolly at this point is very much thinking about what happens after this life. Yeah. So there's a sense of the passing of time. One of the few paintings I feel like I've seen a lot of texture, like mm -hmm. thick texture. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah, he had definitely changed his style. He had to paint more quickly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he didn't have that kind of painterly yeah. skill that he had as a young person, but he still had the images and the ideas to share. Yeah, man, what a beautiful painting. 